With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, here's a question. A uniform rod of mass m, length l, area of cross section a is rotated about an axis passing through one of its ends and perpendicular to its length with constant angular velocity omega in a horizontal plane. If y is the Young's modulus of the material of rod, the increase in length due to rotation of the rod is. So we have to find out the increase or calculate the increase in length. So, so these are the options provided. So just calculate it. So first of all, I will draw the rod. So this is a rod, suppose. Of length L and the axis of rotation is as per the question will be something this will be the axis of rotation axis of rotation this is the rod of length L and this is rotating with an axis Omega is given the question. Now, let us consider a small portion. Suppose this is a small portion in this rod with length as dx. Small element or small portion with length as dx. And let us mark this position as x. Means from axis to the L to that of element, it is marked that portion is x. Now, as we have considered the small element, the mass of the small element will be the mass of the small element B dm that is equals to m by l dx and that will be equals to mu dx where mu is nothing but mass per unit length uh, in the question it is given this length this rod of length L having mass. This is having mass M. Mass is M. Okay. The quotient is already mentioned. And cross sectional area A. This all you have to notice. Now, when this rod is rotating about this axis, this way it will rotate, right? So this small element which I have considered that will also rotate. Right? And there will be several small elements like this, all will rotate. So, suppose I have, as I have considered this small element, so this will also rotate and it will experience what? A inward force like this. So, this force is nothing but the centripetal force. So, centripetal force, the force experienced or the centripetal force experienced by the small element is df that is equals to dm omega square Omega, omega is the angular velocity, velocity of rotation and x here is the portion from axis of rotation to that of this element that much. Now, just to substitute this dm, so it will be mu omega square x dx 
Now this force is provided by the tension in the rod. Why? Due to elasticity. So the tension in the rod is at a distance from x from the axis of rotation will be due to the centripetal force for all the elements, for all the elements present, right? So this centripetal force will be for all the elements present in the rod throughout this rod and throughout this rod means complete L. So this will be from x to L, right? So this centripetal force, you can write like this way, this centripetal or this df, that is a centripetal force, will be experienced by all the elements present in the rod therefore present the rod between not therefore don't write therefore between we can say x equals to x to x equals to l this this is the full length of the rod right so we can write this equation this df equation it is equation number one so integrate this equation in order to get the whole length all the element right so integrate equation one so it will be force equals to x to l mu omega square x dx now so uh, therefore f will be equals to mu omega square by 2 L square minus x square. So this will distribute the force. Now let let us consider dl be the increase in length of the element as it is rotating. There will be an increase in length. So dl be the increase in length of the small element now therefore young's modulus we can write as f by a divided by dl by dx for small element for small For the small element or for the small portion. So from here we can write dl equals to f dx by a y. A y we can write. So from here we can write the substitute this value this force value here mu omega square by 2y into a l square minus x square this one we can easily write it again for total elongation this for the small element the increase is dn for for overall rod will also increase will have some strain will experience some strain in it so therefore the total elongation total elongation of the whole rod is l equals to 
0 to L mu omega squared by 2y in L squared minus x squared dx. This will be the total elongation as we integrate it and solve it. It will come 1 by 3 m omega squared L squared by y. Now, this is a required length we need to find out. So, let us see. That, that has increased. That is the, the increase in length is this one. Increase in length is nothing but the L. This is the increase in increase in length. So let us see which option matches our answer. See option third option it matches our answer. I hope you like my video. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.